What is going on with the guy that just recording stuff? Yeah, there's a few guys around here that uh, do this for a living. They like try to film us acting like. Uh -huh. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler. 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 Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler Media. Mark on the ticket. There's a subject out here with a high-powered video camera. Good morning, YouTubers, and hey, welcome back. We've got a good one today, exposing some piggies. Pay close attention. But first, a quick recap. A couple clips right here, about one minute long. The link to the full video is in the description. Hi, can we help you? Yeah, get back to work. Okay, can you back off for me, please? I need you 100 feet that way. Nope. Yes, otherwise I'm going to arrest you for obstructing. All the way back, please. How am I obstructing, sir? Because we're conducting business. And I'm telling you right now, because by the time I get over there, you're going to jail. I need you Excuse me, pig with the bald head. I need your name, badge number, right now. The suspect is locked up in the back of the van, and all they're doing is standing around talking. Pig with the bald head. Name and badge number, right now. Hey, man, I told you 100 feet. That, this is 100 Again. feet. I need you to go all the way back. There's an investigation going on and you are obstructing me. Wow. So this guy can get obstructed by a camera across the street. In the meantime, there's cars flying up and down the road. You need to put out tape. So walk away right now. Name and badge number. Again, I'm Name. you walk away. Name and badge number. Actually, no. Walk away. Now, a quick clip of B forcing the police department to release public information. <clears throat> I actually sent this to you guys through email on October 26th and one on November 4th and I got no reply so if you guys could speed it up a little bit that'd be great. You want this in the envelope? There you go. All my email address is on there and everything. About a month after the incident I finally received the information and here's what I got. They redacted the hell out of everything. I guess the badge numbers and police car numbers are private. This is Vumi and you're watching Nightcrawler Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe and always record the police. Check this out. This is Lieutenant Dan Eppard. He got the Officer of the Month Award for saving five little kids that were trapped in a river. Control Webster got an Officer of the Month award for catching somebody that was stealing catalytic converters in broad daylight. Here we go, Control Webster's discipline records. 2017, one day suspension. 2017, written reprimand. 2017, two day suspension. 2017, written reprimand. 2019, two day suspension. 2020, three day suspension. And now, the highly redacted dash cam video. Damn it. You know what's funny about this? If he would have just let me record, like I'm allowed to by law, I would have way less information than the front row seat they're about to give us right now link to the full dash cam video which is down in the description. It's my gloves, father. It might be a bit. Mark on the ticket. There's a subject out here with a high-powered video camera. Just walked up in the back of the van being difficult. He's been told to get 100 feet back otherwise he's been arrested for a second. So the other officer Now pay attention to what Sullivan's doing with his police car. Do you guys ID him yet? Uh, no, in the process of doing it. Okay. Crazy people now. 
I don't know what's going on with the loot. I don't know what you're doing with this up here. If I put my car between you and him. I put my car between you and him. Who's obstructing? He's pretty aggressive too. Like, he's pretty aggressive. Oh, that's nice. Walk away right now. Again, I'm telling you, walk away. Actually, no, walk away. What is going on with... Who's the guy just recording stuff? Yeah, he's... I don't know, he might be one of our, uh... Mm -hmm. One of our regs. There's a few guys around here that uh, do this for a living. They like try to film us acting like... Uh -huh. Acting like what? Go ahead and say it. Idiots. Well, theoretically, can you make him go back like that? <clears throat> Then you're on my camera. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. He says I do. You got a key? Uh, I'll go with you because there's that weird old out there. What's up? Oh, you locked it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy's still there filming. What, what do you want? It's an accident. But he thinks we're doing something wrong. It's oh. like, whatever, dude. You guys literally just did something wrong. That's why you're all getting complaints. Here's a conversation I had with the lieutenant right after this incident. The software only records my end of the conversation, though. I thought we had an understanding before that uh, your officers were going to, you know, go by the law and not threaten me. Or And now on Sunday, this last Sunday, you had an officer who I don't even know who he is because he refused to identify himself, threatened me again. He wanted, he, he didn't want to be recorded. He obviously didn't want to be recorded while he was arresting somebody. And I have a right, I don't, I'm sure you probably know, I have a right to see what's happening in public. I have a right to record it. I do not need to be harassed or threatened every single time I take out my camera. It's starting to get ridiculous. Like, I don't even get harassed as much by the Chicago police. Please leave a comment below to let YouTube know that you're watching. You remember this guy? Stay tuned for my next Aurora update video, and I'll tell you what his discipline was for this incident. Got here. Recording those individuals has caused their no. well-being to be disturbed. Those are we, private we, citizens and you are not allowed to record that. Give me your name. Private citizens and you are not allowed to record that. Give me your